Hey guys, Zuljan here, and welcome to a brand new modded orc series. I was approaching in-game content on the other mod pack I was playing with uh, Project Echelon and Gaia with Drax and them, and I decided to run a poll to see what you guys thought about me finishing up the mod and just doing some uh, other game, other in-game content, grinding through it, or trying something new, and it was a resounding try a different orc mod pack so I could see some new stuff. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. Uh, Drax helped me put together a little mod pack yesterday that I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with. It's got some old favorites like Anunnaki Genesis as well as Orc Advance and even a real blast from the past, which is Orc Futurism, along with some new stuff like the Olympus map that we're playing on, Party of Six, which is probably the my favorite mod that I played with this year. It's a magic mod and something totally out <laughs> of whack called Four World Myth, which I saw my buddy Mr. Miola playing with. It's not even fully translated in English, and it has some radically Asian-inspired uh, dinos and upgrades to it. So without further ado, guys, let's create a new survivor. We're going to go ahead and put the Zul'jin load preset in here. <clears throat> Excuse my voice this morning, too. My uh, weather's changing around here, and whoo! All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, is right. So I played a little bit around here just to see if everything was working correctly, and it was fine. I'm just going to restart my progress now. Uh, as you can see, the knocked out Dodo and Dillos and stuff. I'm not going to utilize any of them. I'm just going to start running around here. Let's see if I can remember my controls. I've been playing a lot of Y-Lands lately, and, uh, or I-Lands, for those of you that are want to be really particular about it and um, it's uh, it's right click to interact and collect stuff so that's what I've been doing um, we changed the configs up a little bit my gather rates are similar to what they were on the last mod pack but you'll notice like I get five movement points every time I pump a movement point um, you'll also see that I get 50 pounds of weight with every point that I add into weight uh, it's just to kind of compensate from some of the things that uh, I, I think are important uh, in modded so that I'm not weighed down and stuff like that. A uh, bunch of quality of life mods in here too. Uh, I don't know exactly where the fog remover mod is, but uh, I do have Fister's All fog remover that I'm going to have to put in and install. So, <laughs> so we don't have any fog right in hand because weather just makes uh, this thing go through. But you can see there's a ton of things. I'm going to go ahead and learn a job totem right off as well as some of the basics here. And of course we have tons and tons and tons of Ingram points uh, in this mod. So we should be able to learn a lot of stuff. All right, I'm pretty much out of points. It's time to explore a little bit further. Anunnaki Genesis provides you with a complimentary pick and a complimentary hatchet on every respawn, which is really, really cool. That's just things that kind of get in the way. You can just make them almost immediately. So it's not that big of a deal. There we go. All right, we got a little bit of flint, a little bit of stone. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of this. And um, and we'll get a little bit more thatch. And that should be pretty good. The only thing now that I need now is going to be some fiber. And I've already got about 200 of it now so we should be able to craft our basics let's do shirt hat pants then we can do one of the job totems a spear uh let's do a couple of spears and um did i already do a campfire no let's do the s plus campfire and now we should be good to go we should be good to go let's also do some of these, men, you don't have the right job. Ah, it's for the Mender class, which is, by the way, wonderful. Uh, the Party of Six mod is a magic mod that is, I just thought was absolutely incredible, man. Uh, we're going to have to pump stamina because of this mod. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> because that's kind of like your mana source. Uh, so let's go ahead and put down the job totem. We will immediately pick up the Hunter class. So, now in the bottom right corner of the screen, we have a hunter's icon. And we'll, if we look into the Ingrams, we'll see that we can learn um, a variety of spells. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So, first off, Hunter. All right, you have an air jump ability, which is really, really neat. I love Mender as well. There's there's a bunch of different jobs you can learn, and you can change these uh, as you go. Well, you used to be able to. There might be updates that kind of say differently, but um, there's there's going to be some fun stuff that you guys will see with this mod for sure. But the jump ability is a very, very nice touch. Let's go ahead and learn some basics here. There is something that I want to learn right away, which seems like it's going to be interesting to check out. This is from the Four World Myth mod. It's called the Myth Poison Spear, and it seems to be very inexpensive for what it can do. So let's go ahead and learn that bad boy right away. We'll have regular uh, spears too, but uh, it should be pretty fine. We'll put our clothes on. And let's take our spear for a test run. So this is, uh, now you'll notice that the, the levels are crazy. It's Anunnaki Genesis levels, okay? Um, <laughs> we knocked the dodo out in one hit. How much Torpor did it do? Well, it did at least 541, which is pretty unbelievable here. And the look of this thing, you'll notice this is the running theme. It looks like techy and yellowish and red and kind of like a, an Asian-inspired super weapon. Uh, and this did pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this guy out of his misery. And it's going to take me forever because, well, it's... A ridiculous level but I just need a little bit of hide is truly what I need in order to get my uh, my initial armor setup going and stuff you know along with some meat to eat and, and we'll be pretty good with that okay so let's do the fireplace right here and put a little bit of meat going in here huh uh, I don't need that much there we go we'll light the fire and we'll get a little bit of meat happening I'll put the spear in number four so that we can do more damage than we did to that last one and let's try out the hunter spell so to craft this stuff is relatively easy um, you can just craft any spell that you want if you're the appropriate class so I don't think I can craft this right now you see he says you don't have the right job but we can craft this one the air jump you use it you can lose the items right you can lose the items as you get them uh, so if I die it'll drop in my loot and I'll have to craft another one but uh, the crafting cost, as you can see, is uh, it's pretty simple. One note. And you actually spawn with notes. So if you die, your fresh start without gathering any resources, um, you can just start you can just start with a spell right away. Also, if you look at the note Ingram, they take fiber and thatch, which is pretty darn easy. And they're stackable, so you don't need to worry about them cluttering up the inventory let's add a few more points to stamina here and oh stupid you stupid go to sleep sucker level 542 do you have my junk yeah give me that stone back you nincompoop all right so like i was saying let's equip this spell okay so now I got it in my hand. You can see that the animation is just like a little orb. It looks kind of cool. And if I use it, I jump. Now you'd be like, that is a pretty high jump, man. Like, I mean, it's it's really high, right? Uh, but not only that. Oh, yeah, baby. You can repeat it. Now look at my stamina go down. And... I think you can take a lot of damage if you hit the ground. So you can use it right before you land, which is pretty much flight, you guys. It is pretty much flight, and it is foggy, and I did not find the fog remover. Are you yelling? Are you yelling? You better hush. Anyway, let's grab the meat uh, that we have here. Uh, is it, what do you mean it's locked? Oh, maybe I can't. For some reason, when it was... Oh, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. For some reason, it was uh, it was um, it wasn't letting me access the fire when I had the spell equipped. Yeah, put fire out. If I'm present, oh now I can, which is that's weird. Well, anyway, we have the spell equipped. That's pretty good. Uh, there'll be some new ones that are opening up here too, as well as something called I forget what kind of ice knives. I think it's called. We're gonna be able to do some serious stuff with that. Let's go ahead and put one more point into movement. 
And let's look at the spell list here. And I think we can already get out in it. Yeah, icicle knives is what it's called. So let's go ahead. There's 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 a bunch of fun stuff, man. Um, let's go ahead and craft a note. And now we'll have the minimum requirements. Ice knives. And you're going to love this, guys. You are going to love it. So, Pegomastics. Oh, yeah. So, it's not doing a ton of damage, right? Um, I can't access the inventory. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so, it has... God dang! It is doing a ton of damage. It's just... These things are strong. <laughs> I don't really know what gives a damage increase. We're gonna have to kind of test it out. Um, I really don't know if if you give if you add melee or something like that. If it's if it's different, but look at this guy, drag a fish to feed. Well, we don't we're not ready for all that. What we need to do is tame something, man. That's exactly what we need to do. We have the ability to move around a little bit now and at least defend ourselves. I think it's about time that we uh, we try to tame something. That's that's how we get a, get a good get a good thing started here. So it seems to be a pretty safe place on the island. So I I, I don't think I need to build a thatch hut here. Uh oh. Go to sleep. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like the lightning pike all over again. I honestly don't know how ridiculous it's going to be. I really hate this fog. I need to look for. Do we have Fister's All Fog? I know I have Fister's All Fog Remover installed. Let's see. It looks kind of like a cloud, right? And it's spelled with an F, not a PH, which is kind of weird. Uh, I do not see it right offhand. Look, no, I can't wait for the mix, man. That's going to be so cool to get into. Um, all this myth stuff. I really want to see... What's going into this? Myth Poppy? What? Crazy. Uh, you could summon a bunch of myth stuff. Hot bar switch. This is uh, neat. This will allow you to... Wow, man. Empty hot bar slots will not populate saved hot bars. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. So I don't I don't see the fog remover right offhand. I'll have to double check that to make sure it's in. Uh, but right now we're just gonna have to deal with the weather, you guys. That's all there is to it. So let's look around. I know I got levels I can spend. So Ah, uh, this must be Stubb's house. My buddy Stubb was on here a little while last night. He made a basic base. I think my buddy Drax might have built a little bit too. This is... Yep, that's Stubbs' house. Alright. Turtle. A level 115 turtle. Should we test the Torpor out on this guy? I think it would be good. He's out too. How much Torp did he have? Oh my. 2156. Alright, something tells me that this is going to be ridiculously OP. Like, nuts. So, what kind of Bronto is this? This is a uh, regular male Bronto, 105. Now, granted, if this guy... I'll tell you what, let's put a couple points in the movement so I can get away from it. <laughs> I have 130 movement now, I should be able to. Let's see if I could down him in one hit. No. That was five hits. Five hits, so we'll get a good approximation of what we have here. Um, 15,000, so 3,000 Torpor per is, is around where it's at, I guess. What is this? Level 440, <laughs> the Laphosaurus? No, we're not interested. You know what? I'm not. Just go to sleep. I'm not interested in playing with you right now. I'm not. All right, that is... Oh, my goodness. What the hell is that? Okay, that's some Anunnaki dinos over there. Ooh, baby. What we got? What we got? That's a good-looking Spino, man. That is a, a fire spino, if I remember correctly. Also, is that the golden dodo? Golden dodos used to give golden kibble, and they were insta-tame anything. It's a level 570. You must be level 30 to, to feed this golden dodo. All right, so we got a little ways to go for that, but that's nice knowing. I forgot all about those. Those were so nice. Golden kibble was the bomb. 
A uh, male iguanodon. Put taming. Oh, we can tame it straight off. A level 395 iguanodon. What's it like to, to make a saddle for these things, huh? Uh, let's see. I G U. Uh, it looks like level 30. So it's going to be a little while before we get any of those. We need to find something basic, man. Something basic. Like a trike. A trike would be phenomenal. The trike is like, isn't that like the start for Ark? You know, you tame a trike, you equip the slingshot and stuff. This map, by the way, is freaking gorgeous. Um, let's cross over here. I'm going to enjoy getting into all of this stuff, man. Oh, there's a dodo down there. Hey, get out of the water, silly. Get out of the water, silly. Beautiful. Beautiful. We made it across. That spino over there is so gorgeous, man. So gorgeous. All right. So we are looking for a trike, yeah? Some sort of trike. It looks like... Oh, there's a baby turtle on the beach! Hello, baby turtle. Oh, my goodness. Aren't you cute? Level 600, too. Aren't you strong? Wow, man. Very interesting. Oh, there's a Sarko. First real, 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 real threat here. Ouch. God dang. Real threat is right. Hold on. I thought I could just... Ooh. Eat knives, sucker. Oh, don't you hit the... Oh, <gasps> did I hit... Oh, it's attacking the baby turtle. Get off the baby turtle. Oh, knock. Get knocked out, fool. Get knocked out. Get him, turtle. Get him, adolescent turtle. We can get prime meat from this guy. I think. Um, okay. We wanted to test the damage on this, right? We're at 1865. We're at 1760. So, roughly, man, about 100 damage a, a piece. Quite a beating on stamina, though. Holy cow. But we did quite a bit of damage to him. We can finish him off with the spears, I suppose. Oh, no, I need stamina. Let's let us let your stamina rebuild a little bit. This mod takes a lot of food, ladies and gentlemen. A lot. Move, Pteranodon. I have no qualm switching. All right, hold on. We we switching back. Dude, 107. This will kill him. Finally! Finally! All right, let's get... Let's see if we can get some prime meat off of this guy. I don't... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about this. Oh, you bastard. Uh, I see you. I see you now. I see you. Stupid Carno. Well, I was, he saw that it was in my inventory. Look how little Bronto is still. I want... <laughs> well, level one of... This would be the berry getter. Too bad it's like level... Like we would need to gain so many levels for this... Um, to, to get him up, you know, because, man, uh, to get a saddle on him, I mean, we could just feed him berries or whatever. But what good would a freaking level 100 Bronto be to us right now, you know? Just try not to die from piranhas. Which just noticed me. What? Okay. Um, this time, let's do, let's do that again. <laughs> let's do that again. This time with more oomph. <laughs> <laughs> this time I won't touch the water, I swear. Holy cow. You thought piranhas were dangerous before. Only when they level 600 do they really pack a punch. All right, the good news is there's some rocks here. Uh, that's raptor. Do I survive? Yes, I do. Yes, I survive. 
Yes, will that corno kill me? I can craft flight too if I need to. Uh, he is preoccupied right now. Hmm. I think I should craft flight just in case. There we go. Now we can get away from him if he tries to do something stupid. If I can access my, uh, my body without dying. You busy with that turtle. That turtle is going to probably kill him. Um, wait. God dang it. Let me get my, thank you. All right. The turtle is killing the corno. Yeah, baby, get him. You stupid. Sit down. Oh, no. This guy's level 590. This is this is nothing to play around with. Can we knock you out, too? Probably not, because you're, like, something weird. Oh, he left it alone. The turtle killed him. Beautiful. So I was trying to get prime meat, yeah? Are you mad at me? No, he's not mad at me. That turtle did not play around. Is there any loot on this guy? No. Oh, baby. Give me that prime. Just in case I need it. Just in case I need it. Alright, we have all of our stuff back. We're making progress again. You go, Mama Turtle. You go. With your bad self. Alright. Uh, we, have, we have points now. So... Here's here's the chance uh, to to really test this out here. Um, training dummy, huh? Training dummy. We'll see if we can actually use our. Um... Oh my goodness! Oh, I, th I was thought it was 500 high. I was gonna say that's still not that's still not bad. With our rates, it's really not bad. Okay, uh, let's do a training dummy, huh? Let's do a training dummy. I think we'll just be able to get enough fiber here. We probably already have enough fiber. Let's see what we need for the training dummy. Um, here it is. We are short 300 fiber and a few hundred thatch. Thatch will come a lot faster than fiber. Okay, also... Uh, are there any kind of sickles that we can make or sides? Uh, uh, nope. I thought some some in some mod packs there's an early game um, fiber extractor, so to speak. Oh my god, that's one of them things, guys. That's one of the things from Four World. I gotta show y'all. It's probably gonna kill me. Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> oh, what the hell is it? It looks like... I wish I could see the name of you. Look at that thing. It looks menace. It looks like a parade float at Chinese New Year, man. Dang. All right, we leaving you... <laughs> We leaving you alone. Let me put my clothes back on. Naked me. This is not showing y'all how to survive in, with nudity. Not that a level 590 freaking turtle that hit me would do anything less. What was that flying over there? It was a rock flying. <gasps> Look at that. Do I need carrots to tame that thing? It's a unicorn with blue eyes. Is it aggressive? It does not look aggressive. <gasps> Myth Star King? Oh, wait, you got, oh my God, he is aggressive. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> It doesn't look like we're taming anything this episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it right here, guys. But I'm gonna pick up right where I left off in just a few minutes. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy. Leave me a comment. And let me know what y'all think about this 
freaky crazy mod pack and i uh, look forward to uh seeing y'all again um as far as the new series goes you guys oh wait i have to access inventory like that yeah that's a little bit different here um as far as the new um as far as the old series goes i really don't know what the uh what I'm going to do. I told Drax that I would gladly do some more collabs with him because I enjoy the collab thing. But as far as the single player content, just like going through the motions and stuff like that, I, I wasn't as excited anymore about it. I still love doing collabs and stuff. Uh, but I want to give you all the very best that I got. And, um, and I think that just involves me being enthusiastic and having fun about it. And this is definitely starting out to be pretty fun. So thanks, guys. I hope you all enjoy the episode and we'll see you next time.